Hello, this is a look at Linux Mint 18.1 KDE. This operating system is wonderful. It is filled with KDE Plasma 5.8.5 goodness and wow. When I looked at it, I was amazed. Let's have a look together. As you can see, it's once again, the familiar welcome screen, but they updated some of the resources, so let's have a look. New features. Let's wait for Firefox to open up. Quite quick. If you're not familiar with K KDE Plasma 5.8, you'll be really amazed, and the team of Linux Mint really a great job by integrating it into the system. As you can see new features in Linux Mint 18.1 KDE here you can have a nice video about Plasma 5.8 Update Manager they've really done a great job by updating their information forums still the same as expected documentation also still the same chat room Any questions you can just ask here. It's a really cool thing. Uh, please make it proper close. Let's try. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Want to ask again? Continue. Apps, the software center. Very familiar. Very easy to use. One of the best software centers. Yada. Yeah. I'm running it, this, this operating system in Virtualbox. I gave this system two gigabytes of RAM and it's an R5 computer. So I gave it one core. You can just install, let's say you want to install Thunderbird. Just press install and see the magic happens. Or you can tap in here, let's tap Steam. Just press here and install Steam. Very simple and user friendly. Getting involved. How can we get involved? More and more donations for this great operating system is always welcome. If you want to install additional drivers on your computer, like graphic cards, sound cards, things like that, you can come here and look at the specific drivers for me, and then you can just install them. Very simple. I love the simplicity. Okay. For instance, this one you can just click here, press apply, and you will have to reboot your system. And donations, if you want to donate to this wonderful system, wonderful operating system. Any amount is welcome. 18.1 KDE came out with Firefox version 50.1. And so you can see, pull it around here. Small. At the bottom of our page. Site exactly the same. 
and that's my favorite. <laughs> Close it like this. The graphics can be a bit better, but it's very nice that you can just close it like this. That's very, very nice. And let's say we don't want to see this every time. Go to the top, it's KDE. Users, you will be familiar to this. Show desktop. We're already looking at desktop. Add widgets. Search for specific widgets. More search options. I like to put like the memory usage out there. That you can look at how much memory is being used while running Linux Mint 18.1 KDE. Lock your widgets or you can't move them around by accident. Configure desktop. Yes, all the wallpapers. Let's look if something interesting here. What I was saying. We can look here for any wallpaper we like. Um, let's choose, this looks interesting. Apply, can get even new wallpapers. Let's have a look here. So it's really lots of awesome ways to customize your system. More sections. You can play around here if you want to customize your more sections, tweaks. I love, one thing I love about Linux in itself is all the options. Every system can look different. It's okay. You can leave. I love all. I love this lockout screen of KDE 5.8. So modern, nice looking. Run command and open up library office. Like this, you can do it. Just because you can. <laughs> It's live of office 5.1.4.2 Add widgets we done it before here Add panel, let's say we add a default panel Where will it appear? Oh, here we go, let's Look at, I'm gonna keep it here for a moment, we'll show you later. Um, add panel, empty panel, let's delete this panel, panel settings, more settings, remove panel. And activities was also here. Lock widgets also the lock screen configure this top is wallpapers and other stuff. So it's basically the same options which was here is on the when you right click on your mouse also the same options. I click here, more settings. I just showed it 
when we deleted the previous panel add space so if you want to add space between your icons let's clean it up a bit add widgets so you can see the same widgets height if you want to make your panel bigger smaller tiny let's keep it like this you want to move your panel to the right side oh. other side bottom doesn't matter as long as you are happy calendar clipboard, device notifier, no USB, scale e-connect printers better in brightness your chat room notifications no need to no new notifications wonderful yes your volume it's pretty straightforward stuff applications none you can install them from the store easily instant meeting if you want to add like let's just close this if you want to add like your google account or KDE or Telegram, you can just add them and then it's much more integrated with your system. Internet connects, um, connected with a cable, so not Wi Fi, but Wi Fi will be also be here. You can switch languages. Of art and control, art and chef updates. You can choose how you want to update your computer. If it will open up, let's move it a bit. Let Good. You can. Don't break my computer, optimize stability and security, always update everything. For the sake of this video, I will say don't break my computer. So it will just run smoothly. If you want to switch your update mirrors, maybe it's quicker, maybe it's not, <laughs> but you can just test it out. And it will show you all the speeds the closest to you as I'm basing in Russia currently see this is what so you can add him apply you can do the same thing I love how the Linux Mint is showing you the speeds and you can choose yourself it's something very unique this cheat is fine and you update your case to see if they work properly, if not, then you're ready to just stick. This is too slow. Well, let's give it a try. If your mirror is the closest to you are nice and fast, it will really help your updating to improve the speeds a lot. This one is a bit slow. But okay. PPAs if you want to add PPAs for specific programs that you want to install. If you want to add repositories. Authentication keys, maintenance. You can play around if you want to add something there. Um, 
let's look at the panel panel options panel settings same that we saw before log widgets add panel add widgets just another option to do the same thing which we already looked at alternatives i'm going to look at it at here at the top that's why i kept it here i can only task manager switch Not much is happening. Ah, so this is one of the most changes, and now I'm just gonna delete this panel as well. So, all the alternatives that's the reason why I kept it here at the top. And let's have uh, more settings. Shortcuts. Let's add some things. Not exactly sure how. I apologize for that. Let's look at the edit applications yeah, you can move your menu bar as you want change things add things change icons if you even want to do that you can play around and enjoy the power but can you hear Yes, lots of settings. You can change the icon to anything you want. If you have like a business or a home and you got specific icon or a thing you would, or a logo, you can change it here. And if your menu button look customized, I love all the options to customize chains. If you look at the favorites, the default favorites, you can remove them, use your file system. Control Dolphin sixteen point oh four point three split close preview. It's very smooth I think yeah, it's a very good thing. More options. It's very straightforward and Firefox, I normally don't really use this thing so you can just remove from favorites, you don't have to. We go to terminal and we press in you, oh sorry it's the Russian moment, you name slash re, so it says that it's links kind of 4.4.0.53 is Linux 18.1 is also based on Ubuntu 16.4 long-term support, which will be supported until April 21. This is very good. Software Center, System Settings, let's quickly have a look here. I always like to go through the System Settings, you can go to Workspace Theme, Breeze Dark, that's the theme. I love dark layouts. So I will go back here quickly. Simply it's dark. Turn off this apply. You can even get more options. It's okay with me. But I do like a white mouse for some weird reason. Apply. Display screen. It's fine with me. Color. 
Evening. Chains. You can customize, you can modernize, you can make your system your system. And it will look totally different than any other Linux Mint system. You have fonts, you can add fonts, very simple, straightforward stuff. Don't Emoji, emojis, decons. You can choose what you want to use. Let's stick to KDE4. Apply. Application style. Font tuning. Buttons. Gnome applications. Desktop behavior. Images, wallpaper, virtual desktops, you can add, here is for, you can change lock, screen reader when it will tell you exactly what you're doing on your computer the whole time. <laughs> it's good for some people, I find it a bit irritating. But this credit option is there. Browns. When this is new, then you can add here. Shortcuts. You can add or change shortcuts here as you want it. Web shortcuts. You can add, you can customize, you can delete, you can go crazy and nobody will care because it's your system and you can do whatever you want, anywhere you want, just don't break it and then you can just reinstall. You can add new users, you can add admin. If you want to formats, time zone, as I said, in Russia, notifications, you can edit, you can change, you can look, you can keep the same. Farm manager, you can choose what farm manager to use, what terminal, what browser. You can add browsers like Chromium, you can change the paths, it's really nice with KDE with other systems, it's sometimes not so easy to just change. Online accounts, we looked at it right here, where you can all the options to add, settings, the internet, you can configure if your internet is not working. This is one of the places to absolutely to look. Connectivity. Bluetooth. I don't have a Bluetooth in my notebook. Input devices. Mouse. You can play around if needed. I love all options. I love this one thing I love about Linux is options, options, options. If you want to, if you have, if you're adding a projector or access screens here, you can configure it. If the screen doesn't look, the, resolu the resolution so good or the colors. Multimedia. If you add like a microphone or speakers or whatever you can add and configure them there and choose them normally it's pretty simple like with this mic which i'm using at the moment the blue jetty it just appears and you just choose it when you want to add your camera as you can see yes a lot 
lots of commas to add. Then you can choose how to add them. And then you can get your photos easily. KDE Connect. You can download the app. I struggled in the past, but it's been a while ago, so you can visit the site if you have struggles or you can just go for it. And you more sync. There's awesome printers if you have network printers, USB printers. You don't have to look for the drivers most of the time on websites. The good thing, let's add it like this, the good the awesome thing about Linux is all the drivers is already installed. And just look for your driver here. Sucks, I forgot what one was it. I think it's this one. And this one. Yes, it is this one. And you can just say printer and finish. You installed your printer. You don't have to run around to look for drivers. It can be a whole big nuisance. If you go now to applications, you can see what is pre-installed. You can just quickly run for all of this. Settings, system, let's quickly look at this one here, and let's see better what's running well, and let's quickly go and say info, center, movement, 18.1 KDE, Plasma 5.8.5, 5.28, kernel, memory, energy information, device information, just because you can, you don't have to, but you can. Wayland Let's quickly continue Utilities Computer Yes, system settings Run command which we saw before yeah. File system, history and leave. Yeah, this is a look, this is my look at Linux Mint KDE 18.1. As you saw, a few things struggle to open up speed. It can be just because I'm running it in a VM. But in general, it's a fantastic operating system. Worth looking at. And full of Linux Mint power. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.